Thanks for joining us at XM.com. For today's market comment by Raf Boyajian, I'm Christina Marujas. The Reserve Bank of New Zealand did not live up to the hawkish expectations that had been building in the run-up to today's interest rate decision. The RBNZ signaled that rates have probably peaked as it kept policy unchanged and did not even push back on the timing of the expected rate cut, maintaining its projection that the OCR could be cut in the first quarter of 2025. The New Zealand dollar skidded on the announcement, losing about 1% against its US counterpart to test the $0.61 level. The Australian dollar was another big loser on Wednesday as the currency came under pressure from weaker-than-expected inflation data. Australia's consumer price index held unchanged at 3.4% year-on-year in January. Investors slightly upped their bets for year-end rate cuts by the Reserve Bank of Australia, weighing on the Aussie, which slid to below the $0.65 level after the data. In a further knock for the risk-sensitive Aussie and Kiwi news that one of China's embattled property developers, Country Garden, is facing a liquidation petition in a Hong Kong court, added to worries about the Chinese economy. Stocks in China fell sharply on the headlines, but the reaction elsewhere was muted. Investors likely continue to see little risk of contagion for the moment, while fresh troubles for property developers could prompt authorities for more action to support the sector. Most Asian indices ended Wednesday's session in the red, and European shares also opened lower following a mixed close on Wall Street yesterday. The S&P 500's rally appears to have cooled as it reaches the 5100 level, but the increased caution isn't so much about the next big psychological hurdle, but more about the dialing back of Fed rate cut expectations. The next test will be on Thursday, when the Fed's closely watched inflation metric, the core PCE price index, is released. Markets are no longer anticipating more rate reductions than the Fed's own median projection. However, equities might struggle more should we head towards just two rate cuts for 2024. The US dollar is edging up today against a basket of currencies having yesterday broken its losing streak. The stronger dollar dragged gold prices lower and oil futures were down as well in European trading. This was today's market comment here at XN.com.